step back into the television landscape of the mid-20th century, and you'll find Highway Patrol, a series that etched its mark on the small screen in 1955. Ever wondered about the hidden gems surrounding this iconic show? Are there lesser-known facts or anecdotes that pique your curiosity? Let's uncover the layers of Highway Patrol. This TV series, known for its gripping narratives, followed the exploits of officers navigating the challenging terrain of law enforcement. While the plot lines kept viewers on the edge of their seats, it's the behind-the-scenes tales that add an intriguing layer to the show's legacy. Did you know that the series was one of the first to portray the daily challenges faced by law enforcement officers on the highways? A realistic depiction of police work set against the backdrop of California's roadways contributed to its authenticity and widespread appeal. As we delve into the archives, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience linked to Highway Patrol. What made this series resonate with you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for a journey down memory lane as we explore the lesser-known facets of this classic TV series. Get ready for a ride filled with facts that might just surprise you. Highway Patrol, a groundbreaking television series that aired in the mid-20th century, emerged as a trailblazer in the crime drama genre. Originating in 1955, the show quickly gained acclaim for its innovative approach to storytelling and captivating portrayal of law enforcement. Set against the backdrop of the California Highway Patrol, the series followed the exploits of the tenacious and no-nonsense Chief Dan Matthews, played by the iconic Broderick Crawford. With its gritty, realistic depiction of police work and the challenges faced by officers on the open road, Highway Patrol carved a niche for itself. Crawford's portrayal of Chief Matthews became synonymous with the series, infusing it with a compelling blend of toughness and authenticity. The show's unique style lay in its focus on realistic police procedures and the adrenaline-pumping pursuit of criminals, all set against the vast landscapes of the California highways. This distinctive approach, coupled with the signature catchphrase 10 minutes 4, contributed to the show's lasting impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent crime dramas and police procedurals. The series not only entertained audiences, but also offered a glimpse into the daily struggles of law enforcement officers, humanizing the badge in ways that resonated with viewers. Highway Patrol's legacy endures as a pioneer in the television crime genre, leaving an indelible mark on the medium and shaping the expectations of audiences for years to come. Its influence can be seen in the DNA of contemporary police dramas, a testament to its enduring relevance and storytelling prowess. This iconic series, with its gripping narratives and memorable characters, stands as a testament to the enduring power of television to captivate and inform. In its early seasons, the 1955 TV series Highway Patrol forged a strong partnership with the California Highway Patrol. The show's commitment to authenticity extended to the use of actual CHP squad cars, specially crafted 1955 Buick Century two-door sedans that were never available to the public. The uniforms worn by the characters mirrored those of the CHP, complete with the state seal and the slogan Eureka. Chief Dan Matthews' call sign, 21 minus 50, corresponded to the unit number of then-CHP Commissioner Bernard Caldwell. However, this collaboration hit a snag in mid-1956 when the CHP withdrew its support due to disagreements over storylines and presentation. Undeterred, the show's producers acquired an incorrect Buick Super 4-door hardtop to round out the season. While accurate squad replicas were obtained for the 1957 season, deviations from reality occurred in the 1958 season's cars. The show's dedication to realism extended beyond the vehicles and uniforms. The trailer hitches on the squad cars were used to tow film equipment trailers, and suspect vehicles were deliberately described generically, such as a green coupe or a tan station wagon. As the opening credits rolled, viewers were treated to a 1954 Oldsmobile serving as the Highway Patrol squad car. Chief Dan Matthews, portrayed by Broderick Crawford, added a personal touch to the show with the sign-off, 21 minutes 50 by, at the end of radio transmissions. Additionally, Crawford's son once owned the original patrol car, although its current whereabouts remain unknown. 
These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the meticulous effort invested in making Highway Patrol an authentic representation of law enforcement, despite the eventual parting of ways with the CHP. Quote, clowns in the circus are real funny, but on the highway, they are murderers. In the early seasons, the California Highway Patrol played a pivotal role in shaping the authenticity of the 1955 TV series. Although not explicitly credited, the CHP provided technical advice, patrol vehicles, and uniforms for the show's first season. This collaboration lent a genuine touch to Highway Patrol's portrayal of law enforcement. However, as the series progressed, the connection with the CHP faced challenges. Disagreements over storylines and presentation led to the withdrawal of CHP support in mid-1956. Despite this setback, the show's producers maintained a commitment to realism. Squad cars were meticulously replicated, with 1955 Buick Century two-door sedans not available to the public, featuring prominently. The uniforms mirroring those of the CHP included the state seal and the slogan Eureka. Interestingly, the geographical representation in the series stirred some controversy. While it was commonly assumed that Highway Patrol depicted the California Highway Patrol on several occasions, the show hinted otherwise. Episodes suggested locations beyond California, raising questions about the actual setting of Chief Dan Matthews' adventures. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the intricate efforts invested in making Highway Patrol an authentic representation of law enforcement. Despite the eventual parting of ways with the CHP, the series persisted in its dedication to realism, influencing the portrayal of police work on television for years to come. In the world of 1950s television, Broderick Crawford's portrayal of Chief Dan Matthews in the groundbreaking crime drama left an indelible mark. While the series initially found support from the California Highway Patrol, this partnership hit a roadblock in 1956 due to disagreements over storylines. Despite the setback, the show's commitment to authenticity persisted. Behind the scenes, the attention to detail was meticulous. The squad cars, replicas of 1955 Buick Century two-door sedans not available to the public, and uniforms mirroring those of the CHP with the state seal, and the slogan Eureka added a genuine touch. The series maintained its dedication to realism, even when it came to the portrayal of law enforcement procedures and the challenges faced by officers on the open road. Interestingly, the geographical representation in the series stirred some controversy, hinting at locations beyond California. This ambiguity fueled discussions about the actual setting of Chief Dan Matthews' adventures. The show's commitment to portraying law enforcement realistically persisted, despite the eventual parting of ways with the CHP. Moreover, the show's impact reached beyond its original run. In a Chips episode, Broderick Crawford humorously acknowledged his role in the Highway Patrol shows, emphasizing the lasting legacy of the series. The production company's deliberate effort to avoid depicting juvenile delinquents and their commitment to showcasing adult characters highlighted their ethical considerations. Additionally, the wall map used in the show centered around Central Oregon, providing an interesting tidbit about the geographical inspiration for Chief Dan Matthews' exploits. This attention to detail and commitment to authenticity solidified Highway Patrol's place in television history. In conclusion, Highway Patrol's influence on crime dramas and police procedurals is undeniable. The series, with its realistic portrayal and impactful characters, set a standard for television that continues to resonate with audiences today. As we reluctantly bid adieu to our nostalgic journey through the riveting tales of an era gone by, the timeless allure of that 1955 television masterpiece lingers, like a cherished melody echoing through the corridors of memory. As the curtain falls on our shared exploration of grit, pursuit, and the open road, take a moment to tether your own experiences to the indelible impressions left by the highway patrol. Whether it's the adrenaline-fueled pursuits that quickened your pulse or the characters who etched themselves into the canvas of your recollections, each frame of this classic series is a brushstroke in the mural of shared stories. Did Broderick Crawford's authoritative presence resonate with your own sense of justice? Perhaps the winding roads and dusty landscapes awaken the wanderlust within you. Whatever the connection, it's a bridge spanning decades, linking the past to the present. Now, it's your turn. 
Share with us the anecdotes and musings that Highway Patrol has sparked within you. Let the discourse become a tapestry of diverse reflections, weaving the common thread of appreciation for a show that, despite the sands of time, refuses to be just a relic of yesteryear. Your thoughts, a testament to the enduring magic that transcends the confines of the screen. Thank you, dear reader, for embarking on this expedition through the bygone highways of television history. Your time and musings are the fuel that propels our journey into the realms of nostalgia. Until we meet again on the open roads of memory, stay tuned to the echoes of timeless tales as we navigate the highways of our own narratives.